Yeah. Cherry Diner. Probably the best one. It's too big for the shot. Probably the best thing, the best boat you could have had. How's this thing, Laura? So guys, we are heading to St. Bennett's Abbey, somewhere in Norfolk. This is my second time ever coming here. This is Griff's first ever time. It's dark, it's wet, we're tired, and I'm just gonna flip the camera around and show you how dark this place actually is. So, and there's Griff. It's a bit of a shame because we, was, we wanted to come out a bit earlier, but the weather was so bad, um, and it's only just kind of stopped 
like raining real bad. It's still raining. And here it is. Let me turn night vision off for you guys. Let's get the real lights on. Here we are. So we have been correct in saying that, that was an old mill. Um, and then the Abbey actually added on to the mill. That's actually the other way around. I you did would, say that. Yeah, you was right. I knew that. Abbeys are older. Let me start again. So it was an Abbey beforehand and then they've added the mill on a bit later yep so it's kind of like a, a transition mm -hmm. that they made so quite interesting something i've never seen before it's meant to be a black monk here probably because they're everywhere oh look at that look at that spider it's a false widow you think No. We don't, so we're going here in the dark. Is that where you want to go first? Well, this is the only place we can go. I'd like to walk around the ruins though while it's not raining, good bad. You can't ever walk around them really. Why not? Can we just walk around them? Not much to walk around. Who could ask if anybody's out here in the rain? Come into the dry. We'll be waiting for you in there. I'm going to do a little walk around. The dry place. So the windmill, the old windmill. Oh yeah. Slugs are out. Yeah. It's dark, eh? Very dark. Yeah, so I actually done this location a few years back um, before I even had a camera, you know. I think I used my old mobile phone. The video is somewhere up on our channel. It's pretty bad, so I don't advise anyone to watch it. But... Go back and watch it. It's pretty good to come back with the proper equipment. We're not going to do anything much different, to be honest. Isn't it? You can hear you can hear some kind of animal noises. There's not really much else to really show of it. We're just standing inside a mill. But you would have seen some outdoor shots of it before this video. And I'll set up a REM pod. We'll call out and we'll just chill out and see what we get. We love you. 1980, written on the wall. Some of these inscriptions might be 1976. That's what I mean, some of the inscriptions are probably old. It wasn't the Halo theme, what it was, it was me and Laura in this abbey hall and it was like a choir singer, a little choir singing. Um, it kind of picked it up on the old footage, not very well, but we both heard like this singing, which is quite weird. Now I do want to add, there are cows on, like right next to this field and cows do actually walk along this land because it is farmer's land. Um, so it, could it have been a cow? Possibly. Yeah. But to, to me, it did sound, and to Laura, it did sound like it was um, a choir, like singing. We are happy for you to join us. Just 
come and talk to us. Would you like a song sang? Could you tap on one of the walls? Could you walk towards us? Walk through that door, show yourself as a ball of light, a black mass anyway. Just come towards us, please. Show us that you are here. You can use the tiny bit of energy that me and Griff have left in us. I've got loads of energy, man. Don't <laughs> You can use whatever we've got, and if you can please show us something. Could you throw something towards us, a brick? There's enough of them around. Could you tap on the wall twice to let us know you're here? Like rats or mouse or something or outside. Yeah. Bats. And the bats. So I'm gonna break in my hand. I'm going. Did you hear that? No, what was that? I could hear. I'm going. Did you hear that? I'm going. Did you hear that? Sounded like a horn. Like a mm. Yeah. Or like a oh. 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 Now that's kind of what was that? one me and Laura heard before. If that was the spirit, could you do that again, please? Sorry, I'm glad we got that noise. Because that sounded exactly the same. That's just right. It's like kind of what we heard before. It sounds like a, like a, like a lady's voice, didn't it? It was, like, oh, it was like, I don't know, it sounded like a horn, but like a. Well, like a car in horn. Here. No, it wouldn't have been a car horn. We're miles away from any car. Like miles. But it was loud, wasn't it? The noise travels further at night. But at the same time, it felt like it was at the top. Do you know if do you know if the wind blows over the top of that? Do you know like a bottle? Yeah. Would it make a noise? If anybody could let us know, I mean that'd be great. But I don't think it does. It's brick, isn't it? Yeah. yeah but it, it usually only makes a noise when there's something inside. Hmm. Like do you know when you blow the bottle the top of the I bottle? Know, I know what you mean. If there's uh, if there's anybody here that wishes to speak with us, just even for a little bit. Because we're only here for a little bit. Could you just come towards this? I mean, that's very easy to communicate with us. I haven't actually touched that at all. I've just put my hand by you. And you can see I've still got my hand. It's not hard. You just walk towards it. And judging by how close you are to it, that's how much it goes off. So it's about breaking the barrier. Birds don't come out of this time. Could be a rat. Yeah, Mouse. No, well, it's come on, there's rats all over this place, man. I thought literally something was walking there. Really? By the door. 
Well, it must be more of those pine tricks on me, man. Whoa. What, the blackness? Yeah. Can you whistle? Can you do one of Stephen's famous whistles? What was that? You think that could be a cow? Was that you? What did you hear? Well, no. I was just about. To, I was just about to whistle, but I didn't. It could be an owl or a bird, couldn't it? Or a swan or. It could be any of them, but it was weird when I asked for it to whistle. Yeah, I didn't actually hear it. It sounded like he was behind you, though. I'm inside. Something there though. It was what? like Whoa. that was Jace. Yeah, there was something like Whoa. I don't know if it's because it the wind's blowing in here. Yeah. Oh, well, that sounded evil. Well, I must have made a noise. What did it have been that? I don't know. It could have been so. That's what I mean. But the wind was blowing on me, so I couldn't hear. So it's time, once again, guys, for a spirit box session at St. Bennett Abbey. Hold on to your hats. It is raining. If there is a monk here, could you please come forward and say the word monk? On this device that Jason is holding. Age is getting. Can you sing for us, please? That's what inconvenience, eh? It's sad. Over several. <laughs> On the radio. Yeah. Oh, I think this is too smart, Cubs. Really? Yeah. It could be the raindrop, possibly. Raindrops keep falling on my head. There you go. What's that laser up, Chuck? Well, upstairs to the top bit of the abbey. Unfortunately, we can't get to it because of the solid steel pipe. That's it. You're trapped. Oh. What's that? Is that a message? Yep. From God. It was done recently. I've put it back, guys. Yep. So I'm not that kind of guy. But it's a shame we can't really go up there. It's a shame we can't really take you to any other part of the abbey. Because you know, this is all it is, you know, it's just it's this lovely front, bit on the stairs. Um, there is a cross. Well, I'm going to point in that direction way over there. You're just looking into the abyss. But believe me, it's there. So we've been here for about two and a half hours. It's quite late, we're quite tired. We haven't really got anything, but again, you know, we'll have to check back to see if we've picked up anything, you know, that we could have missed. Um, and I think it's time to get back on the boat, sail some more, chill with the kids, and enjoy the rest of the holiday. What do you think, Jace? Yeah. So as always, thank you. And I don't even know if the video is going to be finished. You might actually see more after this. So if you do, stick around.
this. Should we get the beers out and sit on the top? So after we actually had finished the investigation, you know, we went back onto the boat, we went to sleep and my daughter and Griff's daughter was actually staying on my mum's boat that night and in the morning she come back onto our boat and she told us a story. Now the story is pretty good to be honest and this was, you know, this was when we was right next to St Benet Abbey so Kira now is going to tell you the story of what happened to her on that night. So. so do you want to tell everyone what happened? Mm-hmm. Go on then. So I was in my nan's boat oh. sleeping and my friend stole... Freya. Freya. Griff's daughter. Yeah. Stole my spot in the bed and I was shivering cold on the spot. Oh. I looked over near my nan's room and I saw a white figure with its hair like short, like shorter than mine, like that. Yeah. And it had no feet, hands glued together like this, slowly floating above, floating uh, near my nan's door. And then I went under the covers, and then I found it in the middle of the boat, looking right at me. And then what happened? And then I was, my heart was pounding faster and faster and I tried to not look back to it and then I just tried to forget about it when I was going to sleep. And what happened when you woke up? It was gone. And you sure it wasn't your nan or granddad? I'm sure because Nana's hair is, my nan's hair is really long and I saw the figure's hair just like Nana's except halfway cut through. Does your nan float? No. Was you scared? Yes, if my if I wasn't scared, why is my heart, heart pounding faster and faster? Would you sleep on your nan's boat again? Well, I would, only if it's not near St Bennet's Abbey. So do you think you've seen a ghost? I actually have. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. Do you want to say goodbye? Bye. So yeah, um, I believe her, to be honest. She's never said she's seen anything before. She said she's heard running before in our house, but she's never seen anything. So I don't think she would lie. Um, when she told us, she went into a lot more detail. She was a bit shy. But yeah, it's pretty fascinating. You know, I mean, it is known to be, you know, monks are meant to be there. So the fact that she told us all that description and everything was pretty fun. So yeah, take it for what it is. Um, if she did see a ghost, then she's seen a lot more than I ever have. So I don't know where I'm going wrong, but yeah, just thought we'd share you that little story and we'll see you guys on the next show. <laughs>